welcome back to Metal Bent Chronicles, where metal lives. That's right, coming at you from the Metal Bend Mobile for a long overdue episode of the Metal Battlefield. That's right. And we got a good one coming up for you. It's right now. And oh my God, man, two bands nobody has never heard of. I mean, nobody. These are like the deepest when it comes to the underground that you can get. No, anyways, seriously, though. Okay, we got Metallica's Aunt Justice for All from 1988. Going up against Megadeth's Rusted Piece from 1990. You know, I thought of this the other day, actually, putting these two albums against each other. Due to the fact that at the time... You know, it was their fourth albums, and this would be their last thrash metal albums for each band. Because we know where Metallica and Megadeth would go after these two albums. Anyway, so let's get right into it. We're not going to waste a lot of time here. We got Blackened going up against Holy Wars to Punish Madu. Oh my god. This is a tough one. I'm going to kick myself in the balls later on probably for this one in my choosing here. This is a tough one, though, because I think both tracks absolutely kill and kick ass, man. Both have excellent rips. Both are just good thrashers and good headbangers. Oh, man. This is tough. You know what? I'm going to go with Blackened, just because I love that fucking midsection in Blackened. It's just killer. It's all hell. But, man, this was definitely a tough one to begin things, you know. So then we got And Justice for All, the title track, going up against Hangar 18. You know, I love the track And Justice for All. I think it's a cool track. But you know what? i got to go with Hangar 18 because Hangar 18 is one of my all-time favorite, favorite Megadeth tracks. So that's a point for Megadeth, and we got a tie. So then we got Eye of the Beholder going up against Take No Prisoners. This one's pretty easy for me. Again, Megadeth gets the point. Take No Prisoners, man. Just an awesome, thrashy, speed metal track with very complex rips and drumming. Yeah. And I, the Beholder, I would definitely say is, it's a cool track, but it's probably one of the, you know, weaker tracks on Injustice for All, let's be honest. Okay, so then we got One versus Five Magics. Oh, I love both of these tracks. I think Five Magics is a fucking incredible Megadeth track. But man, I gotta go with one. So that's a point for and justice for all. So we're at three to two. Okay, we flip it over. So we got the shortest straw next in line going up against Poison. What's the cure? Okay, this one's fairly easy, I guess. I like both tracks, but I got to go with the Sword of Straw, man. The Sword of Straw is another banger. All right, we're tied at three. Okay, up next, we got Harvester of Sorrow going up against Lucretia. Um, You know, these are probably two of the slower tracks on each album, to be honest. But I love Lucretia, man, so I'm giving it to Megadeth again. You know, all right, so that's a point for Megadeth. Actually, now we're tied at three. I kind of made a mistake there. All right, anyways, so we got the frayed ends of sanity going up against Tornado of Souls. Love frayed ends of sanity. I think it's one of Metallica's best deep cuts, but come on, dude. It's going up against Tornado of Souls. My all-time favorite Megadeth track. No competition right there. It's going right to Megadeth. All right, so now we're up. So Megadeth has just taken the lead. All right, so we got To Live Is To Die going up against Dawn Patrol. You know, this one's kind of easy for me. I'm going to go with To Live Is To Die. Holy cow, we are tied again. All right, guys, who's going to take the fucking victory here? Because now we got Dyer's Eve going up against Rusted Peace Polaris. Holy shit. Man, both these tracks are killer. 
knew it was going to take the victory here because we're tied at four. Oh, man. This is a tough one because I love both tracks. But you know what? I got to go with Dyer's Eve. As much as I love Rust in Peace Polaris, and I think it has cooler lyrics and it has a cooler topic. But man, Dyer's Eve musically at that time was quintessentially the fastest Metallica song written up to that point. Definitely their thrashiest tune. And well, they're goodbye to thrash metal for quite a while. All right, so Metallica's and Justice for All wins this 5 2 4. All right, guys. That's it for the Metal Battlefield. Like, comment, and subscribe, and keep it metal, and keep on banging those heads.